Hello and welcome to the YouTube review. Today I'm gonna showcase Shadow Beedrill. And yeah, I actually built the thing. I had already a normal Beedrill built, but I got like, I think I rank 47 or something like that. Or I think 74 actually. Uh, Beedrill. And yeah, yeah, I kinda wanted to try it out. Just how good it is now with the buffed poison jab. And yeah, I wanted to showcase it in open grade late today. Usually B draw is like a super solid one for like cups anyway, so I thought okay I'm just gonna get no right now because I'm gonna use it maybe in Kento Cup and stuff like that when stuff like that's gonna come back. So I don't think it's really a waste to get a shadow B draw and it's like definitely different from a normal B draw. It does just like way more damage and you have like actually like so much pressure with the charge moves so you get like way more shields it has a one matchup which is worse with a shadow beat rule than with normal beat rule and that's against bastard in my opinion as you gonna need to two shot him anyway with three run but you can get to two two drill runs against uh with a normal beat rule against bastion but you cannot get to two drill run with a shadow beat rule which didn't really like was not really good for me most of the time that's not the worst thing i'm really good with this team against bastion anyway i have basically two counters of course lantern not the best counter but still has hydro pump which is super effective and yeah it's still okay and then you have the best counter basically with Merit Jam. I built a kind of similar team already before, uh, which was Merit Jam, Galvantula, and the Lantern in the back, which is also a super solid team. I can highly recommend you that team as well. But also in Jack and Jaren, I think the core of, as, of Merit Jam and Lantern together is just like one of the best cores in the game right now. Is you can counter like a zero with the lantern, you can counter the flying test with the lantern, and all that cool stuff. So that's like always kind of cool. And then you just need a good safe swap. In this case, we're just gonna use like the shadow beat rule, as it has some hard counters, but like against most stuff, it can actually get like at least a shield back or something like that, or get some damage with the poison fang move, uh, with the poison jab move. Yeah, maybe beat rule someday gets not even a better upgrade, but. We can need better back moves, maybe. I don't know. Exodus, I mean, Exodus is alright. It's not a good move, but it's better than nothing. At least he has a bait move here. We have Dura Run, which does a lot of damage, which is a community day move, so you have to get that from the community day. Or use an elite charge TM for that. And yeah, other than that, Super Soul Pokemon. I'm gonna start to also know, contain a bit more of the battles. We had a lot of interesting battles here. I don't know why my opponent actually did not shield the Stunfisk there. It would have been way closer, but like this, it's okay. And yeah, we have a good lead here, and I'm kind of messing up right now. I try to catch the move on my Lantern. And I thought this Ice Punch would put him into range for a Thunderbolt. Uh, which it doesn't and he goes on focus blast which is like crazy move from him but this thunderbolt will not ko and it's also not the closest i should feel it here i think i don't know i have like two good answers for the shift tree so i wasn't really that scared but my opponent has basically the only thing that really breaks both of my pokemon here which is alone merrick which is the first pokemon i could have seen out of all pokemon <laughs> Here's a letter in the back, of course. Uh, it's so annoying. If it wasn't that, I would have been okay. But actually, I still would have been okay if I just, like... Uh, you're gonna see it soon. I think I had, like, some lag or something like that. I don't know. I know that I had, like, some... Oh, he, he got the extra quick move in, which was crucial, because now uh, he does more damage against me. He actually got the deterrent stop, which would have helped me a lot. And, yeah, I couldn't get to the move there. I should have went for the... Exorcist because then I could have farmed him down here. Could maybe have been maybe be, I would have been able to get to the ice punch there, which I also didn't get to. So uh, I think it's still possible to win, but kind of difficult in this case. Here we have, oh yeah, we have the manager champ against us. I think that was the Sable Eye elite there. Sable elite, of course, bad. But you actually win uh, with Beedra against Sable Eye in the one shields if you bait, I guess. So it's not the worst sail swap for Sable Eye. Here he just goes into the mage gem, which is fine for me. I can just kind of farm down here, get my shields back anyway. He goes into Sable Eye. And with that, I avoid the Sable Eye with my mage gem. And most of the time, they have like something like Bastion in the back, so that's kind of good for me. Here he goes on the move. I can go into my lantern here. I expect him to actually, yeah, actually 
try to catch the move here. I built up to the hydro pump, so I'm definitely gonna KOing the stabilizer when it comes back in. But here we have Bastion against the May Chem now aligned, even though we lost lead hard here. He came back thanks to Shadow Beedrill being able to win switch advantage back against the May Chem there. So good game to my opponent. I don't I mean he could have he should have went into the Bastion actually, but I don't know what he why he didn't do that. I don't know. I mean, people fear the drill run, I guess, which is fair. But drill run does not KO a uh, Bastion. But people don't have to know, okay? People just just be quiet about that. Definitely Bastion gonna die from a drill run. Definitely, it's. It, I think it does like seventy percent only, which is crazy, considering that Bastion is like double weak to it and we are shadow. But yeah, that's actually not that crazy. Here, we, uh, yeah, a Terrier lead is also like actually something that's really bad for this team, but I was actually always able to play around that, I think. That was actually always possible to play around at least. Most of the time I go for Ice Punch and try to catch the charge move onto my Lantern because it's resisted there. And here my opponent has a Zoomer in the back and just surrenders. Good game there, even though we lost lead hard. Doesn't really matter. Here we have a good lead for us. Goes to the Manibus and we can just counter this Manibus switch in with our Lantern. Lantern is just actually one of those Pokemon that I kind of underrate it in the matter. Like, I don't see it a lot. I actually never, I think I haven't seen it this season at all yet. So, maybe I'll look and try to get that thing, this thing because it's actually kind of bulky. It has a decent moveset, it hard counters a lot of things. It's kind of nice to play right now. And here he goes into Empoleon, which I still don't know why. Uh, maybe he didn't want to re reveal his third Pokemon there. I go into my mage, I'm just gonna shield once here, so I can keep this thing healthy. And here's a Nine Tails in the back, Charmer against my Beedrill, and here you're gonna see Beedrill gonna get the Charmer. It's just the nicest thing ever. And because my opponent just tries to farm me down to get as to as many moves as he can, I go for the drill run here to hope that I don't go for that. And I win this game. The game to my opponent, and here we have the worst possible thing you can ever face. A Haunter lead. This is the first Haunter I've ever seen for I think two seasons or whatever. And of course we face with this team which just can't do anything about that. I have to get him low here with the beat drill. And my opponent actually swaps out here into the man boss which is super bad for me now. There's like literally nearly nothing I can do. I should have thrown my move here. I should have thrown my charge move. That would have made it way better for me. Don't know. I don't know why, I, I tried to swap out in time before because I kind of wanted to keep the draw run, but it didn't work out here. Here he goes with the Iron Ace, but... I catch uh, actually the move here on my Lantern, which is nice, and I just have to play around right now. I have to get like energy so I can KO the Hunter somehow, and my opponent has a Steel Path uh, Umbreon in the back. There is nothing really I can do about that. Really interesting game from my opponent. He would just die from to one Charmer though, because the Haunter is not good against Charm either because it's super squishy. You saw how much the Poison Jab did to to it, and then that was double resisted, so it was like already at half half. So yeah, no, my opponent goes back into this thing, and it's actually still a close game though. You can go for two Ice Punch here. I think he didn't have. And uh, maybe if I just uh, maybe I had a f I should have went for like two more counter there I think my counter into the CMP or something. This just didn't work out for me. Good game to my opponent. And I was just a really hard team to deal with. And here my opponent has Altaria. Really not good for me again. Altaria leads super difficult to play around, but still it's it's solid. Okay, he didn't even throw against me, which was bad. He goes into the Medicham. I think there's no reason for me to throw a Hydro Pump as I have to throw two moves anyway. I expect him to go straight for the Psychic here, which he does. I gotta get my shield back here anyway because he wants to realign. And it does not look too good right now for me. Am I shielding this? I'm not gonna shield this. I'm gonna die from that. I'm gonna go into my Beat right now. And he goes back into the Altaria. Which is fine for me. He has not more than this energy he just threw. I have to get him a bit lower, so I'm gonna throw my charge move here. I'm gonna be able to farm him all the way down now. And I should also be able to get to move against whatever he has in the back now. And he goes into Needle Queen. I thought, oh no. Needle Queen with a shield right now. And he does not even. Yeah, 
he, he called he didn't call the bait there i hope he wouldn't shield that and he goes for the earth power i have to like kind of throw my move here like we're getting super hard content in this game and there's like a literally no way where we can win this all right and nope of course not because Mithra is just super broken you gotta get to the dry run right before he gets to the earth power even though i had like some energy lead there and good gave to my opponent don't mess with my B. Yeah, my opponent goes, it has a Charmer in the lead, so I'm not gonna mirror right away with the B drill. And he goes into the Sable and actually gives me a shield here already, which is cool. I don't have to shield the first one, it's a foul play. I survive one. I'm gonna shield the second one though, because I'm gonna get a shield back, I think. And I can go for the Hydro Pump instead, which is also key for me. And oh, but we are still in a bad spot. What I'm doing right now is just uh, I knew that my beetroot basically has to carry me. So what I'm doing there is I'm just gonna try to get the energy onto my mage gem, try to KO the disabler in time. Now we have to hope that my beetroot somehow can carry me here. Here my opponent is a mid champ, and the mid champ is actually like. I really scary because of the rock side, but it does not switch out, which is good for me. I can just farm all the way down the Shadow Beedra goes to town. We're gonna go for the drill run here. Gonna KO my opponent with another one here, and it's gonna be a good game. So what a sweep from Beedra here, and yeah, that's the end of the game. And next opponent, we have a Zoomer against us. We're just gonna go straight for the Beedra. He goes into the Hypno, which is ouchy. Ah, Psychic type, but... Confusion just just hurt so much that it was like the problem in the main series as well in Gen 1. Like all the bug types had like poison typing in the second move and like psychic types were like so broken. Here you kind of have the same dilemma. But that's okay. We still got a shield there from him, which is fine. We got him low. And I know that he only goes for punches here, so we can just farm all the way down, which is totally okay for me. And he goes back into the Azure as expected, and he has an obstacle in the back. And obstacle in the back, I mean, that's not too bad, actually. We can go for the Hydro Pump here. Hydro Pump, if he does not shield us, does so much damage already that we are gonna be able to spark him all the way down here. Sparky, Sparky Dolphin. We're gonna go for the full farm down here. Gonna shield both of the moves because we're gonna get way too low for the Ezo otherwise. We can go for one Thunderbolt here. And my opponent does not uh, does shield here, and I'm gonna catch the play off here. And I actually saw that. I don't know if that under or that under charge or not, but I can go for the psychic here, which puts him into range of the thunderbolt, and we can go for the thunderbolt here. And this is gonna be a good game to my opponent. Very well played, and we still came back from a really horrible lead. Next lead we have made him against us. Actually, something I don't like. I'm just gonna go straight for the psychic here, see if I get the debuff and maybe threaten him out. That's what the, the, that's the play I most of the time go for. And then I'm gonna swap out and he goes into Licky Tangentine in that time. And I thought, oh god. And I remember a team I built which got like really popular and a lot of people used. Which was like a full meta team, which is Medicham, Licky Tang, and Bastion. So what I can expect here is my opponent to run Bastion on the back. And we're gonna see. I'm totally right with that. So, what I can do here, I should have went for the dry run, but it doesn't matter, as you're gonna see it soon. You're gonna shield here. And I actually go into my. I don't know if that was the right play, actually, to swap out there. I just think I should have le just let it go. Because then I could align my lantern against this mage gem. I don't know. Well, maybe not the best play. But now I can go for the ice punch here. And he does not know what I have in the back. He actually goes for the shield here, which is beautiful for me. And now I actually go into my B-Drill, which is like actually a 5 hand play to keep that now. It was definitely what I wanted. And now I can align my lantern against the Bastion. I still have a shield here. There is nothing my opponent really can do here. He can go for all the moves. I go for my Hydro Pump. Gonna be able to KO my opponent here with this Hydro Pump and uh, another Thunderbolt. The only thing he can do is catch a move here, and I, th I think he is still locked anyway, so with Thunderbolt gonna take him out. We have like one more quick move for the Mage Gem, that's gonna be a good game. And into the last game, we have Onion Frank here, which is one of the best players in the world. He's always like top 10 on the leaderboards, so 
And we have a really bad lead here as Skarmory. Skarmory lead not that good for us, especially because of the breed roll in the back. As I say, so it doesn't really fit against this thing either. So I have to stay in here, try to get a bit lower, go for two ice punches, try to catch a move on my lantern here, which actually works out pretty well, which is super good for me. And now I have to hope that he has something weak in the back. He has a Scrafty, and I thought, ah, oh, that's not good for me. Scrafty goes for the power punch, which is actually better for me, I think, because now I can get to a move. I actually go for the uh, Thunderbolt here because I expect him to shield, and he does not. And I hope this is only a power punch, please. It is, and I actually can get to another move. I always kind of misplay from him. And this is actually also the last game of the day. And here we have our main champ again, and he goes into the Skarmory. I just found him down. Go for the Psychic here. And now we have the Magic Champ against our Beatrice, but we are still locked in here, so we have to... Ah, uh, it's kind of difficult, he has like some energy now, and now it comes down to the bait. If you're gonna bait here, and I'm gonna cut off the bait here, I'm gonna no shield, if he baits here we win, otherwise we lose, and we win, and my opponent surrenders, good game.